We are now going to place our shoe or lining and our upper over our last and start lasting it. First I'm going to put a nail here in the back and I'm driving that nail between the between the lining and the upper in such a way that you won't be able to see the hole afterwards. I'm also going to do the same here. Once again between lining and upper. Now you use your cobbler suppliers to force the lining around the last and nail it in place. This is easier to do in your lap, but I will make for terrible videos, so I'm at least doing the start of it here. It takes some time, but this is actually I find to be quite a fun part of shoemaking. As you can see, put in a bunch more nails <coughs> and our shoes are starting to take shape. The lining sits snugly over the, over the shoe last, right? The lining has been on our last for a while now. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to glue in the toe cap and the heel enforcement. Um, for this we're going to be using a different type of leather. We're going to be using this, which is a very, it's not very thick, but it's quite stiff. The heel cap is not going to go around the shoe, so we're not going to be using this uh, one inch and two and a half centimeters seam allowance. We're going to be cutting it off there because we want the heel cap to go around the heel, but we want it to stop exactly at this boundary between shoe and sole. However, Rather than cutting it off here and then hoping that it will fit, I'm going to leave it a little bit longer, let's say a centimeter or so, instead of the two and a half centimeters, and then I will just cut it evenly once it's glued on. These are our two toe caps. Um, before we're going to glue them, we're going to do one more thing. The toe cap will come on the shoe like this, and to prevent this from being a quite visible ridge, we're going to make this taper off. Uh, so that it's like a wedge. This is called um, skiving, and you do it with a skiving knife, which is uh, something like that. I did a terrible job on this one, but I did a pretty good job on this one. So, um, you know, I hate skiving. With our skiving out of the way, the first thing we're going to have to do is figure out where exactly we want the toe cap to go. For this, you flip down your upper, and you make sure to align the toe cap with the seam so that there's no visible ridge extra. Once you found that place, secure your toe cap with a nail. Put a few nails along the edge here. So the first thing I'm going to do, um, I'm going to be cutting off all of this excess leather so when I sort of manually push it up to where the toe is I'm going to be slicing it off um, where the leather is where the where the edge between the sole and the side of the shoe is be careful while doing this don't cut your fingers so I've now trimmed this back so that this edge just sort of reaches the edge of the sole the uh, next thing I'm going to do, this is impossible to sort of bend down without any wrinkles. So I'm going to cut out a few darts, sort of D-shaped incisions, so that I can actually make this toe cap fit. You see I cut one there, and now this curve is already easier. I'm going to do another one here. Now this looks good, right? We're going to glue this down, and then we're going to hammer this until it's like smooth. 